Hello guys, so this is my cable for subwoofer and I will show you how I will try to route it to the back of the car, to the trunk so I have a ring here already attached and I will need to screw it somewhere here to the plus of the battery. Before you do anything, you should unscrew minus negative terminal. But before that, I was occupied by that fact what I need to route this cable to the trunk. And I found this rubber piece. And all cables goes inside from this. As you can see, this is my screwdriver. I already pinned the hole. And I'm gonna show you where you can find this from inside of the car. Okay, so before getting to this place you will have this plastic piece so I already removed it and going here you can see my screwdriver so from the far you can see where is it it's on the right side of the driver's seat this is my screwdriver here you see that rubber Grommet, I don't know how they call this, so I pierced the hole with my screwdriver and I will try to insert the cable from the other side so I can pull it here. Okay, guys, disconnecting terminals. This is the key for 10 millimeters, so So guys, so as you can see I put the cable inside, later I will apply a piece of rubber glue or something to make it kind of sealed, but for now it's okay. <coughs> and here you can see, let me turn on the flashlight, this is the cable. Go straight from this hole. And so I'm gonna route it here. Once I have finished with, uh, I will attach it here somewhere under this plastic and after pull with this side here. So let's follow up. Okay, guys. So this is what I did here. Here I use the heat uh, protective sleeve, braided one. You see, I ordered it on eBay like five dollars ten meters or so. I attach it with tie wraps, like here. So also I soldered the tip of the wire. I bend it twice. I soldered it. This is my fuse, it's 20 amps fuse. So to fix it there I will use this tool. And basically I'm gonna put it here. And the cable will go here on positive plus. So shortly I will show you the final result. Okay guys, so this is the cable passing by there. And 
I can tell you one thing, I had uh, ordered it from eBay. They said it should be 5 meters and uh, 50 centimeters, but as you can see, it's done. Actually, it's at the front door and I don't have uh, enough of the length of the cable. So they sent me like 4 meters, 40 centimeters. Taking into consideration what you should kind of route it through different kind of paths, etc. I believe even 5 meters will be not enough. I would tell, I would recommend you to buy like 6 meters cable for that red one, power one. So maybe you, it will be enough. For me, I had another cable here. So I will use a soldering gun to solder both together. I have this one here because, as you can see, this is the all length I have. So how you can root it here? You just push the wire beneath that, and go all the way to the down to the trunk, and basically that's it. So I will follow up. Okay guys, trying to remove this faceplate and um, don't use metal part, uh, prime tools just try to use these plastic tools as I ordered it on eBay and what I see that that drawer is attached to the faceplate when I, I pull that side you can see it's moving so I believe the safe way would be kind of like that prime from here. I see it's already breaking a bit. And from here. Now I managed to pull it a little bit here. But still trying to figure out next place to pry it. Seems to be going a bit in this corner. Yeah. Here I was doing that way. Okay. I would say it's not that hard honestly. So I'm gonna move on the next step. If you're curious how it looks like, this is it. So next thing will be removing this screw, this screw, and this side also a couple of screws, the same way. So we will get access to I remove these four screws, two on each side. Now we have a harness here. And next I will try to figure out cables so I can cut in and plug my subwoofer here. Okay guys, so to figure out where is your right wires for connecting subwoofer, uh, I found this, you can see the link, ae64.com, for my uh, Subaru 2013 Legacy. I found uh, here you have a ch that pinout with numbers, so I will look for five and six and fifteen and sixteen, and uh, that column says Subaru Factory Radio Harness OEM Wire Colors. So we look for five, six, and fifteen, sixteen. So five and six. 
it will be red black and white red it will be left rear speaker left rear speaker plus and minus so red black white red so it's number five and six here when you look here you count from like one two three four five and six those two black red and white red here also as a hint they put here the black uh, insulating tape also when we look here 15 16 it will be red white and gray green or gray red something like but in my case it's red white and this and it also has that insulating tape to bind these two cables together and they go here on 15 and 16 at the bottom that cable we move away this because if we look here at the bottom we have 19 19 17 three wires from the bottom and also the, after we have 16 and 15 so let's count here and actually sounds a little wrong why they are together i didn't get the point but okay this another two together and i see it like a yellow red and white black or something okay so that first cable it's the number 20 as on diagram you see so after we have 19 which i don't know don't know what's that after we have pair of this it will be 18 17 it's that right front and we have next and also you see they are binded this insulated tape, right? And next pair, it's a left rear, which goes 15 and 16. Color is a bit different, but I believe it's, in my case, it's that blue, yellow, and red, white. So I'm gonna cut it and use the next thing to you will see okay guys so I cut two wires red uh, black and white red and if you want to test you can use the battery you just plug it so supposedly the speaker You hear the noise in the speaker, right? It's happening just on the left rear speaker. So, I cut right wires, but they're pretty short, so it's kind of a bit challenging to plug them together. And So, I'm going to try to use this one. forgot the name of this stuff actually but whatever so you put two wires together and three and squeeze it I'm gonna try that and you will see the result uh, I just remember it it's a crimping tool normally you will use one like that 
but the places narrow cables are short and it's kind of really hard to reach and crimp them properly so I use the pliers see long uh, and I just attach the cable to one and pressed on one side now I'm gonna do on the second side another side pushing cables there I'm doing the same I already did this here seems to be holding nice cables are not pulling from there so hopefully it's gonna hold so it will follow the next cable as well and I plugged that as you can see I made the cable is that RCA so center goes on plus and uh, shield from this cable goes on uh, minus signal on the left rear speaker okay guys testing now actually before it was yes right uh, yeah now I'm testing uh, right uh, rear speaker and plus should be red white and uh, 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 minus signal should be blue white or something or oh, it's rather yellow blue yeah and plus I believe is the same as on the left rear it's red and white so also I will need the, to use a cable I believe it's called 12 volt accessory switch do you see it here unfortunately the low it's getting darker outside so yeah so you see plus 12 volts it's a pin number three it should be yellow red number three you see it's very top number three so I'm gonna find it here as you can see I plugged here and here I have two RCA's which I made as well from RCA cables I cut them I solder it here and uh, use that uh, thermal shrink tube I already uh, routed the cable and now we need the cable for It should be number three they say which has plus 12 volts when that accessory is on so number three here it's that my case is this one yellow yellow red yes this one So I'm gonna slice it, cut in, and I'm gonna put that blue cable that goes, came with, uh, you see, with my kit, wiring kit, hopefully it's gonna work. So, it's to be continued. Okay guys, so here you see. the speaker's cable plus that blue one thin one I connect to pin number three from my radio it means when you turn on accessories with a key ignition key you will get 12 volts here for example if you're curious if it works or not so you put the ignition key to accessories and you can measure uh, with multimeter between this and and for example this screw you should have a 12 volts on multimeter so when you turn off it should uh, get zero so here where is the hole you cannot see it okay here you have a hole so I rotate this 
wire like that brought three clips here I removed them that panel also so I put the cable until here that clip also I removed so all the cable I put it beneath and tuck up here you can see it's here so I'm gonna do the same so all the end okay guys when you remove this plastic trim you can find what where is the gap when you actually can push your cable and it will be sitting safe there so do that way and it will be fine I'm gonna do same way up to the end so following the same pattern uh, put that trim plastic from here put the cable between so it will not be under the stress also I put the protective sleeve here and I found the hole what you can pass the the wire I will show you in a minute see so using both hands from one side and another it's actually passing through easily and it will not be jammed between um, the chair and the rest so it should be fine I believe As here you can see my ground so I have this cable with this paid connector on the back on one end and uh, I found here that piece it had a 10 millimeter thread with a kind of knot at the bar and the back and I found the screw actually the bolt with 10 millimeter thread so I you can see I cleaned that uh, paint off of your kind of this thing you can grind it with something else like uh, sandpaper or whatever I applied some silicone lubricant to prevent corrosion so we are good with the ground so I move on the next step this is the sub we have ground I'm gonna screw it here I have plus 12 I'm gonna go here on the top and also I have this blue one which should go in the middle remote plus 12 when we have accessories on it should turn on and give a signal to sub also I made this pigtail to plug speaker input it's just temporary to test if it works well or not so gonna test it shortly so the last probably step would be in plug-in subwoofer will be the to plug that positive wire on the plus 12 on the battery but before that I suggest you to clean up this terminal it was all covered with a green build up what happens often on the battery so what you need to do you unplug everything you remove that you clean it with sandpaper you clean this terminal with sandpaper and after you can apply something like that lubricant silicone lubricant oh i can even apply this one silicone break whatever right so that's it okay so guys i got to install the speakers and this is the door this is the metra adapter i installed because my speakers doesn't fit uh, to the, the factory holes 
I can tell you this is the package. Subaru Legacy, something blah 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 you see on the picture. This is how I got it. I don't know if you have any other alternatives, but this one is not really good. It has a not that uh, long enough uh, holders let's call them so once you install it that way it will by this screw at the top it will be just grabbed by just an edge of these two holders so I need to added that so in order to make it stay solid not moving also I added this thing because when you apply this ring you see a lot of gaps around and also beneath the screws I added the some portion of Denfer material under each screw here you see so now it doesn't move if it's moved just a little bit and it has a some stuff between so I hope it will help to reduce the vibrations so when I see what uh, my speaker you can see it here that plug you see I just soldered it before I ordered it on uh, eBay it's called uh, harness for Toyota speakers so perfectly fix, fits Subaru so I, and I now I can screw it in just like that and basically that's it so we're gonna move on the next one thank you Hello guys, this is the final result. You can see I put my sub on the left side because uh, I have that back seat uh, folding on the left side, uh, narrow one. So in case if I need uh, to put something longer in and big in my trunk, I have right side uh, back seat which is foldable also. You can see it has some uh, stands came with it so I screw it in and in case I can remove it easily just two screws on one side and two screws on another side here you can see from other side this is the setup I use that uh, high level speaker uh, signal without converter I have converter too but I didn't use it yet I don't know if I need to use it uh, maybe one day I will try it. I put the sub gain at maximum because this subwoofer is just only 10 inch. It provides the bass kind of balance, not overwhelming. And if you like that bass, what you just shake you all, you probably need to go with 12 inch bass. For me, it's just right. That's okay. And I didn't use the remote. Uh, level control because at maximum i don't i just don't need it because it's not that loud to just to control it hello guys finally i completed my sub upgrade of uh, factory speakers in my car and uh, now i have subwoofer scorch scorch whatever the name is it 10 inch Plus, I have uh, a coaxial Alpine speakers on the back, and I replaced the uh, speakers in doors. So they came split, like uh, you have door speakers and you have tweeters. In my case, one tweeter was defective, so I didn't replace tweeters yet, and I have a project to try. I have a pair of tweeters from Audi. Maybe it's gonna be better, I don't know. This Twitter's uh, kind of 
kind of that size and the speakers I took from Audi is kind of this size so we're gonna see maybe it will be improvement I don't believe so but who knows so now I can try to listen some free music what I got from internet so let's see how we can do that
So this is it guys, it sounds pretty good, Bella, the bass is balanced enough, so I like it. So press like button and enjoy, share with your friends, thank you for watching.